Okay, this is part two of our video. Um, the video was Canon the Super Bass Power of Tesla, and uh, we let it run for about an hour and a half. So let's take a look. So uh, Super Bass is down to about 19% uh, capacity. So we started at 100%, and it's been charging pretty much uneventfully. Um, I bumped up the current, uh, draw a little bit higher on the Tesla just so that it would um, complete the test faster. So we can see the uh, wattage now is a little bit higher. It's 1168. And if we come over here on the consumption meter, we can see that the uh, current, current, uh, current draw is 10.7 amps. And wattage is 1166, which is about what that says of an agreement. Then we come over here, and this says that we have consumed about uh, 1.77 kilowatt hours, which is about 80%, um, a little over 80% of the uh, 2.1 kilowatt hours um, capacity that we have inside the super base. And it was running for about 94 minutes. So um, let's see what the Tesla says. So we come over here. Tesla says that we are uh, still charging and we're up to 42%. So um, we started at about 40%. So we put 2% um, of the uh, total ca battery capacity of the Tesla uh, was charged through the super base. And uh, that works out to be about the uh, capacity difference uh, between the 2.1 kilowatt hour um, capacity of the super base versus the 82 kilowatt hour capacity of the uh, Tesla. And if we do the math, that means that we would extend the range by about 2% also. And so that would get us about seven or eight miles of additional range. So uh, not a ton of range, but it's an important uh, distance if you're just trying to uh, get to an outlet to be able to do a full charge. And um, so there we have it, very uneventful. Uh, test the super base um, completed that without any glitches, no issues, and it's just was very quietly uh, supplying power the whole time. Thanks for watching.